Good morning, Delray Beach. I'm Amanda. And I'm Jamil. And we are here at one of my favorite places in town that a lot of people don't know about. I really didn't know about it. We're at the Habitat for, Huma yeah. Habitat for Humanity Delray Beach Restore Store. And the thing that I love about this place is seriously, everywhere you look, there's little treasures. Now, I tell you, I walked around this whole place and I see almost everything. I know. Everything that you think of that you may need for your house or around your Anything. home. Anything. They do have everything in there. And at first, really come in, I was like, oh, this is something like a Goodwill, but it's totally not. It's very different. It's like a Goodwill on steroids. Yeah. And I mean, it is like this is what like everybody laughs, but I love sustainable things. I love giving things new life. Right. Um, and this is one of the best places to do it. I've got... Actually, any of you who've been to my studio, that big table in the middle we got here, we gave her a fresh coat of paint, and she looks like a million dollars. You're looking to do anything with your home, yeah. uh, any remodeling. Before you go anywhere else, I think yeah. this should be your first stop. Absolutely. And it might There's be your last stop, too, It's probably you know. going to be your last stop. They have supplies. They have furniture. They have glassware. They, I mean, the I list goes sink. on. I see a sink yeah. in the back. Oh, yeah. What? They have, like, renovation I things. Doors. You know? They have doors. If you need to replace your door, <laughs> like they've you got can, doors. You can build a house with things you in it. You can. <laughs> with everything. Here. That's what they make it easy for you. You just can come right here. I mean, if you need a beautiful grandfather clock, do you need a new clock? That's a pretty one. That's nice. So, but I don't need it. Okay, well, somebody <laughs> out there needs it, and it is here waiting yes. for you. No, to it's come like together. antique. I can I can really yeah. see that. You know, somebody that is really an no. antique collector. But you can do that, and you can res you can restore it. Like you yeah. can do some cool things with. You it. can do all kinds of things. Well, I got a furniture set here that is like a very expensive furniture set, and I was just roaming through here as I often do, and I was like, what? And normally these things are thousands of dollars. I got it for next to nothing here. I painted her up, and she's beautiful in my backyard she's so excited about this is the it, stuff so that makes me very excited i can tell she but so what else is going on you've been busy with football how is uh, how's your team looking oh the team is looking great you know the guys are working out we're in summer conditioning right mm -hmm. now so you know waking up seven o'clock in the morning Oof. at the school you know we try to try to get the workout in before it really gets hot, hot. yeah <laughs> you know, it's been really hot um you know the past couple of days but i have to give it to the kids they're really committed um, to taking care of their bodies and, and getting better. So that's really awesome. Great. Yeah. great job, coach. No problem. And what about you? What's going on with you? Well, so we have an event today at A Little Wild from 4 to 6. We're having a summer event for locals to come and have bubbles and, and hang out, Prosecco and water. I'm about to say, um, not like the little No, bubbles. not, not bubbles. I mean, that would be fun too. <laughs> that would be fun. But um, Prosecco or sparkling water and just to come and check out what's going on in the store. And then the Arts Warehouse this Friday, it's first Friday. Um, so 6 to 9, all of Delray Beach is going to have art open late. Check out a little while, four to six. So, but we got to talk more about this incredible place. Yes. What? Well, let's bring let's bring on the people that make things happen. So first, side. we're going to bring Lindy, the executive director from Spirit of Giving. Welcome, Welcome Lindy. Lindy. How are you? Everybody in the I like audience. it. That's what we need to start doing. I like that. That from now on, Luis, that's what we're doing. We're clapping every time somebody comes audience. on. Studio All audience. Six of them. I have fake laughs. Oh. So, Lindy, what is Spirit of Giving? Spirit of Giving. It's a collaborative nonprofit. We have 89 nonprofit members under our umbrella, and they're the best nonprofits ever, including Habitat for wow. Humanity. Wow. And um, we do. We meet monthly. We bring in relevant trainers and speakers to the nonprofit world. We try to connect our nonprofits to our community to better impact it, and, and we do network and collaborative projects together. So we do four main signature projects a year, and the one I really want to talk about today is Back to School PBC, and we are currently oh. working on it right now. It's an amazing event. Our member organizations register their children. Mm -hmm. So we have almost 5,000 children registered, and we take over the Village Academy here at Delray Beach um, on uh, July 30th. We will have the whole campus, and the kids come with their parents and their caretakers, and they get to be able to pick out their own backpacks and their great appropriate school supplies. They get new shoes. We collaborate with In Jacob Shoes to provide shoes for all the children. We have socks donated from Bombas. Uniform shirts. We work with Boca Regional Hospital to have all kinds of health screenings and school physicals and the mammogram band's going to be there. So it's an all-encompassing all-day event where the kids will get everything they need to start the school off 
right way. That is incredible. That's a great day. So that's close to five thousand kids. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So how do how do parents like if they want to take part or take advantage of this opportunity? How would they? How so would our they children are registered through our nonprofit through the, through agencies, okay. and so okay. this this actually process started back in February, and they you know, register the kids okay. so that we know how to order supplies and right. everything for Can the also event. through their organizations. That yeah. So the, all the kids. So it's all of our local organizations. Though this is Achievement Center. This mm -hmm. is Milagro Center. Mm -hmm. This is Habitat. This is Fuller Fuller Incredible. Center. You know, it's um. It's a great thing. So we actually collaborate with the county a little bit on this too. They have a program in West Palm Beach and Belle Glade, so there are actually three different sites going mm -hmm. on at the same time. But Spirit of Giving runs this wow. Delray and South County site. So how did what, how did you start doing that? I mean, that is an incredible undertaking, and so many lives changed. So over 20 years ago, our founder Barbara Schmidt actually had a holiday party, and she this is how we started. She. Um, asked her, all of her guests to bring a gift for a child, not a bottle of wine or a hostess yeah. and She ended up getting 600 gifts. She in, turn, oh, so. she in turn reached out to all the local nonprofits and said, do you need good gifts? Well, of course, they all need gifts for right. their, their kids. And so she started meeting with them monthly and realized they weren't talking. Back in 20 years ago, collaboration was not right, a word. Right. And, and they were kind of like own. really closed. You know, they were worried mm -hmm. they were going to like sneak a donor out or there. And, but she said, you know, we can be better together. Yep. And so that's how we started, so that we can connect people. That is wonderful. Are there ways that other people can get involved who want to give? Absolutely. So right now, we def we takes about, because there's thousands of people right. here at the school, we need hundreds of volunteers. And okay. so we definitely need volunteers for the day. And you can go to our website, um, spiritofgivingnetwork.com to volunteer, to sign up to volunteer. And, and what was that date for people who might be so watching? So we actually have a setup day on the 29th, okay. July 29th, Friday, but the, the event day where the kids are going to be there is Saturday, July 30th. Oh, that's so exciting. So it, was, it was two things that happened while she was speaking. She gave a date July 30th, and then you spoke about back to school. Yes. So that lets me know that the summer is gone. Summer's gone. Ooh, <laughs> so don't talk about it. School starts August 10th. That's I mean, that's still summer. That's so early. <laughs> so early. It used to be like the end of August, wasn't it? Yeah. When well, we were that's in school. Get, no. When we were in school a thousand years ago. I feel like it was like. <laughs> that was when you were in school. You mean quite. Listen, because my birthday is the 6th and no one was ever around on my birthday. You're, you're, and as a child, like, like, I was so salty about it. No, it, it used it to used be late. It used to be late, right? Be late. I'm not crazy. It used to be late. Yes, yeah, so it, it used to be. It used to be I was just messing with you. No, but uh, I'm looking at it just like the summer is going by so yeah, fast. Yeah, it is. So. But is there any other events that you guys threw throughout the year with the nonprofit? So we parties? do this big holiday gift drive. So all of our oh, member right. children, they can actually pick out. We create a catalog and we the kids pick out their oh. gift wish. We create gift tags and put them out in the community so that these kids can get like little Mary from Habitat for Humanity wants a baby doll. And so we know she's going to get that baby oh, doll. Oh, that's it wonderful. Makes it really personal. So we engage uh, hundreds of you know, businesses and groups and school groups trying to help us get all these gifts. Last year, we distributed 6,500 gifts to our Wow! Community. That is a lot Spirit of giving. happy kids. <laughs> so we also are the official charity partner of the Boca Raton Bowl. And, Amazing! Um, yeah, so which has been a really good blessing That's to our brilliant. agency. Um, we are able, they give us all their unused tickets, so we're able to distribute them to all of our member organizations, oh. to sports teams, to, yes. you know, to schools. and. So, because ESPN wonderful. basically wants the people in the thing, but of this is course. a great opportunity for families who might not ever get to right. go to a right. national right. bowl game. Right. Yeah. No, I totally agree. Oh, that's wonderful. I just think it's so, I mean, the numbers of children that you are serving in this, yeah. in this community, it's really, I mean, it's, and I think that's one thing that, to your earlier point, that there's so many amazing organizations, and a lot of times people say, oh, I, I don't know who to give to. So, this is a good way to be able to be involved with multiple Absolutely. organizations at one time. Now, if I'm a, if I'm a business or if I'm a, you know, a mm -hmm. nonprofit organization that want to be up under your umbrella, what's that process? What do Becoming I do? Becoming a member, so you yes. need to be a 501c3, mm -hmm. and uh, we it's a very minimal membership fee. I mean, okay. there, it's just very nominal, and, and we meet monthly. We have great meetings. Our July meeting, I'm bringing in um, a great social media speaker talking about all the how to great. do content and build calendars and mm -hmm. what what do your meetings take place? We are currently meeting at the Boca Raton Downtown Library in the community room. Okay. okay. So that's wonderful. Awesome. So, yeah, so we usually have about forty to fifty of our members at every monthly meeting. Like I said, we do have eighty nine members, but we don't have full but you know nobody comes to all the meetings. Right. <laughs> so you guys here the spirit of giving July twenty ninth. That's really a call. July thirtieth is the event day. July thirtieth is so the event day, but on the twenty ninth they need hands. Yes. yes. They need a lot of hands. We on need to set so up a store. Up. Maybe we can get yes. Tom to do it. <laughs> yes. They have such a great story here. Yes. Yeah, that's wonderful. So if you're watching and there's some way that you can help 
get involved, reach out, Spirit of Giving, and let's make it happen. Thank, thank, you. thank you so thank much, you so Lindy. Much. Thank you for everything that you're doing. Thank this you. is really wonderful. Thank you. Thank thank you, you. Wow. 6,500 okay. children. That's, That's what they wonderful. Think. And think about all these children who they go to school and they feel good and they've got their supplies together instead of feeling like, they don't have something that they need. And, and they're, they, they're given year round. So yep. it's not like just one time nope. a year where some organizations may step in and just give a toy here and there, but they're yeah. helping out during the holidays yep. at different points. But also their collaboration yes. piece, I really do, really do like. So it was a good point. A lot of nonprofits do feel like they're competing island. against each yeah. other, you know, but. It's um, nice to see 89 of them come yes. together. We can do more together. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. So make sure you help if you can. Yes. So next, do you want to bring on our next guest? Yes, yes. So we're bringing on Tom. Tom's the, the director of the Delray Beach uh, Habitat for Humanity uh, Restore. He's and the, we're also bringing on Jennifer, the president and CEO of Habitat for, Habitat for Humanity, South Palm Beach County, and Jan, chairperson from Delray, Be Delray Business Partners. I need my coffee. I'm doing tongue twisters today. Hi, Good welcome. Morning. Good morning. Welcome, everyone. Tom, Jan, and Jan. <laughs> Good morning. Yes, good morning, good morning. We are so excited to be here. I mean, I'm extremely excited to be here if you haven't noticed. There is so <laughs> many, there are so many magical things in here. Like everywhere you look. You, you know, the, the one thing too that I, that I heard about when it comes to the restores mm -hmm. that when you purchase all of the proceeds really goes mm -hmm. towards a great cause because yep. it's going towards helping the family or helping going towards the homes that you guys are building for a lot of the families here yeah. um, in the community in Southern Palm Beach County. So I, I really, I was like, wow, that's, that's really dope. It makes me even feel better about yes. purchasing something you know, from, from the restore. So. so how does that work? How, when people come in and they purchase this beautiful piece of furniture here, how does, how does that process work? Jennifer, cover that. Come for the restore? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, so basically anybody that comes in and they purchase any kind of a product from the ReStore, basically those profits go right to our programs and services for the community. Um, Habitat for Humanity, South Palm Beach County, we are so excited because we serve Boca Del Rey Boynton, been doing it for 30 years, Amazing. and we build homes, community, and hope. And the way that we do that is we are basically a catalyst for families that are already in our community. They're mm -hmm. working at our Walmarts, they're working at Publix, they're working at our hotels. They're a certain income level that just really don't feel like they'll ever, they'll ever be able to own a home. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is we are a catalyst for them. We provide the resources and the tools for them to be able to get a zero interest mortgage and actually move into a brand new home. But That's what incredible. they have to do and what they have to invest is they have to invest 300 hours where they're actually out there building other folks' homes. They're volunteering here at the ReStore. So they're also going through 50 hours of financial education. Wow. So what we're doing is we're setting them up mm -hmm. to basically be able to take care of their mortgage, yep. save money, you know, set up a will, um, teach their kids about set, you know, um, establishing credit and repairing credit. So we're doing a lot of that to set them up to be financially sustainable. And then they um, basically get a zero interest mortgage that is actually based on their income, not based on the market. Mm -hmm. It's based on their income. And after doing all of that, all of that investment, they basically get the keys to a brand new home. And when we have all the funds from this, these restores, this one, and we also have one in Boca, that goes right to the bottom line to help us take care of those families and to help us be that catalyst for them to get into a brand new home and have home ownership. Wow. See, and, and I think you really just answered one of the questions that I was going to ask. Mm -hmm. So for, for the viewers out there, the difference between like a Goodwill mm -hmm. and also a Restore, and I think that was really the mm -hmm. answer. There um, is a big question. difference, though. Tom can yeah. say it between us and a lot of the other so, um, Let's talk stores. about that, Tom. Well, the furniture is probably the, mm -hmm. main, the main thing. You know, we, we do have clothing, we do have jewelry mm -hmm. and home goods, but the majority of the store, as you look around, is the furniture, the construction materials mm -hmm. that you said. We have end products, and for people like yourself, yeah. you sound like a real uh, do-it-yourself. Wow. Yeah. Do. And, and especially with today's, you <laughs> yeah. know, all the cable shows, yes. do-it-yourself. Yeah. What a great spot to be able to come in, get quality furniture, and it's all donated from... Right you know, the local right. community, so. Right. I can say, like, even if you're a carpenter or you're mm -hmm. some, a contractor, you're somebody doing some work, yeah. I mean, this should be your stop. I mean, For from sure. the painting, I found, I seen tiles. There, and they, <laughs> there's tile, there's brushes, there's paint, there's so many different the light things fixtures, that you can find. I mean, ceiling fans, yeah. I mean, I've seen everything. It's true, and I think the thing that's really cool is you never know what you're gonna find. It's like a treasure hunt. Like, my husband laughs. 
because I get so excited when I come in here because you'll be looking, think you, you know, you're looking for this, but then you find something you didn't even realize you needed. Yeah. <laughs> need, you need it. And then I get the lecture of need versus want. Right. But need, there, I mean, there's rugs, brand new things. So it's right. not always, you know, it's not that everything is secondhand, but the secondhand pieces in here are quality. They really are. It's real wood. A lot of the things that are made today, you know, fall apart or they have a zillion pieces you need to put together. Here, you can walk in and buy a beautiful dresser built of real wood, and then you can give it some love if it needs it. And a lot of times it doesn't. Right. It is perfect and you could stick it right in your house. But for people who are looking to do things, like you said, you could get your tile. You can get, I mean, it just, it's incredible. I walk in the back and the first, I seen a grill. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I need another grill, but it had sold on it. I was like, oh, uh, man. That, that's the worst. <laughs> need or want, Jamal? Like, what he needs? He needs. So how, if you're coming here and you're like, oh, I want to get this this piece of furniture, but I have a tiny car. Is there any way that people can can make those purchases? Yes, they certainly can. Uh, and then we have a couple of companies that we partner with. Mm -hmm. And so you can call them and they will deliver the items for you. Wow. So now We're too what? busy picking up. We have right. three trucks that go out five or six days a week just to pick up all this stuff. Wow. So we can't deliver it, but we have companies that we partner with that so do the delivery. if we have big pieces of furniture, you do go and pick up or how does yes. that process work? Yes, we have three trucks going out five or six days a week just coming to people's home to pick up all these so items. So do we call the store then and yep. say, I have some furniture, and, and then you, you yep. come and, and check have it out? A, we have a, a dispatch we'll team, and mm -hmm. they'll call and make a day and a date that works best wow. for you. Where we find ourselves different is usually we can get those pickups within five or six business oh. days. Some places you call, it's over a month. Yeah, yeah. So we can get out there. And then we also have a premier service so that if you would like, uh, our pickup is free, mm -hmm. but if you need it by tomorrow, we do have a premier service and you can pay a, a small fee and they'll sure. get there by tomorrow and pick up everything for you. So if people are moving or you just have furniture you don't need anymore, this is a great way to change lives and help people be able to find their dream or build their dream home with with the help of this program. There's also appliances back there. Yeah, the, I seen I mean, a nice oven you know, that I seen. A, I seen an oven on on a cooking on a cooking show one time. Yeah. I think I seen that same oven in the back. Uh -oh. And I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, this will fit uh -oh. perfect. Marissa, you're gonna get, <laughs> get you an oven. But uh, no, nah, I'm I'm wild by yeah. it. I'm just like, wow. so yeah. it's, this is like one of those places. Like you know what? I think I will come in every weekend and just see what new things have popped There's up. There's a microscope right here. <laughs> I mean, just things that you would never think of, and and you have it. And it, I just think it's it's incredibly cool. And I think the fact that you're, not only are you being sustainable by buying secondhand furniture, you're helping people's lives. And especially in our housing market here right now, you know, home ownership is becoming out of reach for a lot of people. I and agree. you are not only helping them be part of a program where they can yeah. get a home, but also teaching them those life skills that a lot of people need. Right, and they actually, once they get the keys to their home, they also get a gift certificate to come oh, to the restore. Stop the it! Oh my gosh, that's incredible. So I, I know, and we've we've had you guys on the show before. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. when we were, you guys were building a home. Oh, that was and, so and fun. Born. I really like that one. Yeah. Um, if I'm a family and I'm looking, you know, say how do I get on the list? How do I go about mm -hmm. signing up for this whole process of of partnering with Habitat to build me a home? What's that process? What do I need to do? So anybody can go to our website which is um, habitatsouthpalmbeach.org. We, um, like everyone else, um, huge shortage of land. Yes. So we don't really have you know, a list. We basically mm -hmm. open enrollment when we do have land or we have opportunities for homeowners. You know, another thing that we are doing, and I encourage people to go to our website, whether they want to volunteer, whether they want to donate to the ReStore, whether they want to donate funds to support our programs. Okay, yeah. um, but we also have a program called Neighborhood Revitalization. Because land is becoming more sparse, we're actually going into the communities where people are in their home and their home may be falling apart. So if they're living on a fixed income or they don't have a lot of money. Right. Their roof's falling apart, their windows, they can't fix it. Nothing's mm -hmm. going to cover it and they just don't have the money. So what's happening? We're getting letters all the time. We want to buy your home. Get yeah. out, get out. You know. Yeah. So we allow them to stay in their home because we will go in and we'll do a new roof. We'll do oh, impact windows if they qualify. Incredible. It's the same income level that we're right. working with, right. but they qualify and then we'll go. And so we're basically 
putting our arms around the whole community. Yes. We're doing painting, we're doing That's landscaping. Beautiful. So I encourage anybody to go to our website to find out about our qualifications. Sure. And then as soon as we know we have opportunities, mm -hmm. we open it up and then we have people that can apply. And if they qualify, they can get in our program. Yes. And I know you guys had a, another um, event Probably was, was it last month, the Rock the Block yes. event? Yes, that was um, Delray. That was yes, an amazing event. Right. We have a lot of year-round events <clears throat> that we have. Del Rock the Block was Delray. And all of these events, there's always sponsorship opportunities. There's mm -hmm. always ways for companies to get involved, you know, okay. have their employees come sure. out and help us build and help us repair yeah. them, you know, do revitalization in the neighborhoods. Um, so Rock the Block was in April. We actually have a CEO build coming up in October. And then we, of course, have Do Good Delray. Yes. We're doing an event there for Do Good Delray. That's going to be in October as well um, and then we have various different builds and campaigns because this is a huge source of revenue for us mm -hmm. but we're doing so much that we need yeah. that much more so we love the restores the restores really help to sort of oversee a lot of our administrative costs mm -hmm. and our staffing yeah. and so all the donations that come in you know financially or sponsorships go right to that house or that revitalization oh, that's program that's so we're always looking for that so our website is habitatsouthpalmbeach.org and for people who have never been here before, how would you, in like one quick sentence, tell them about this place? Because we, we've gushed about it for the past 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> but for somebody who's watching, they're like, wait, are these people like real, like they're real excited. Should I be excited too? How would you tell people, come to Restore, this is what we're about? I'm going to let Tom. Well, I would say two things. One, we're open seven days a week. So you are now? Yes. used to be closed on Monday. <gasps> Ooh. Seven, days seven days a week. And uh, as you were pointing out the different things, I would say anything that's in your house mm -hmm. or used to build your house, we pretty much have it at the risk. I, I can agree and I think I've seen it all. <laughs> we have seen it all and there's more to see. Like really, you could spend all weekend here, I think, and not see everything. And just come and check it out. And there's, you know, there's big items, there's little items, there's fun things, there's silly things. Yeah. And just because you come in today doesn't mean that it yes. won't be here, that something won't be here No, you gotta keep oh, yeah. checking back. Always, 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 always <laughs> He said they have three trucks that's on the road 24 seven picking up things. So I know they're loading up. A and lot then of stuff. are people able to bring things here themselves? How does that process work? For somebody who has furniture, they might want to donate. Well, that helps us out tremendously mm -hmm. because, you know, the price of fuel. So oh. our trucks are always out there. Yeah. But if there's something that you can fit in your car or your mm -hmm. truck, bring it on by. We have staff that will help you unload it. You get a donation receipt because we're our charity. Right. And you're very help. You know, that's very helpful for the that's restore. That's wonderful. I, I like it. And then, you know, one of the things that's sort of circular is sort of the reason that you guys are here is Tom's connect, our connection with the chamber. We right. love the Delray Chamber. Right. And one of the groups that Jan mm -hmm. can speak to is the Delray Leeds Group. Yeah, the Delray Business Partners Leeds Group. Mm -hmm. And Tom has been a member for, what, 10 years now? Wow. And we're years. in our 20th year this year. Yes. 20 years? And we have 28 businesses in it. That's a, So what other kind of businesses are part of your group? Oh. So many, uh, 28 different businesses. So wow, many. so you have like a variety of people and then you get together, how often do you get together? We get together the second and fourth Fridays of the month. Okay. And our philosophy is based in four basic words. We develop friendships, friendships through our one-on-one -on -one sessions we have with each other, our business meetings, and we have lots of social gatherings because we like each other. So we're based in friendship first yes. and then developing trust. Yep. And then through that trust, we want to support each other. Yeah. We start. Yep. We want to support each other, and then together we grow each other's businesses. In 2020, the first year of COVID, mm -hmm. when everybody's business was, we did $297,000 in referred revenue that year. Wow! And last year we did over 170, 167,000 wow. revenue, right? so referring to each other. You're hanging out, having a good time, yeah, and having a great time. doing business while you have fun. I mean, that's what life should be about, yeah. I think. Right? Well, and and a lot of people others. realize that the chamber has these. You know, these we are have many to be a leads groups, of. and they're all yeah. one, all the leads groups are fantastic. They meet at different times, so it's what's convenient for which person, what fits for them. We only have one category in the group. And once that category is fulfilled, then no one else can come oh, in. You can't so have two of the same have like four realtors. You have Correct. one from each. That's so we can wonderful. really focus and concentrate on it. And then with point. Tom, even with our, our, our association with, the, uh, with Tom's business, is that with some of those one-on, uh, like mm -hmm. our meetings, mm -hmm. uh, Tom has sponsored one of our meetings here in the store. So we all oh, come here. Cool. And then we all bring 
are things that we're going to donate. Yeah. And we have a blast. You've got the donuts and everything. We <laughs> just have coffee. And we have donuts today. And yeah, right. donuts today. We got you to have donuts and <laughs> coffee. I mean, I'm never leaving, guys. You're going to have to shove me out the door today. Sorry. I'm not showing up to you work. You get donuts and lay down on the couch, I take mean, a nap. Really? You can <laughs> or mattresses. Or mattresses. They've got brand new mattresses. I mean, it just, it is incredible here. Yes. And I love that you have all, for 20 years or 10 years, have been years. able to network in such an authentic, yep. beautiful way where it's not forced and you can have fun while doing business. We're more than business colleagues, we're friends. So do you have friends room first. in this leads group? Because we want to join. Hopefully there's a space do. for yes, us. Yes, we do. We don't have any media representation. Oh, yes, you're in. there we go. So how do so how do people find out about this leads group or if they're if they're if you're, that spot is already taken in your group, you, another one? Um another one but if someone I help I'll help. I'll Aww. talk to Caroline at the chamber and say, and or Stephanie, and find out what yeah. the leads group could, you know, this person could go into. So that's it's wonderful. wonderful. Yeah. You know, and also with the restore, it's so important that when you're donating, mm -hmm. it's you're supporting the community. Yes. Because what if one person no longer needs, yeah, another person may need that one thing. Absolutely. And it's the person's, you know, throwaway becomes another person's treasure, and that's right. a beautiful thing. So we love supporting the, the restore. Everyone in our group has donated to the restore. I just did my father's entire estate to the restore. Wow, Thank that's you, Jane, that was very cool. nice. I mean, Probably in here right now. Well, that's something no, that. Oh, it's sold. already sold. It's sold. It's sold like that. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, that's something that I think a lot of people, I never thought of either, is things like that. If you have things like an estate that you need to, you know, you need to clear the, the belongings, this is a great place to do so where you can change so many lives in so many ways because not only the person who gets these items and is excited to have them in their home and give it new life and then you're helping yeah. all of the people who are getting these beautiful homes whether it's a built home or a beautifully painted or, or renovated and if there's other businesses out there who maybe roofing companies window companies that want to get involved how can they get involved in, and help you guys too We'll definitely call the restore. There's a lot of businesses that will donate, even if it's seasonal items, mm -hmm. scratch and dent, mm -hmm. returned items that they can't oh, resell. Yeah. Those are great for products. Well, for I might have meat. some for you from my store. Oh, well, there you go. Mm -hmm. We have things that are little, you know, snagged or whatever that yeah. we can't sell. Mm -hmm. And I have a box of them and I was wondering what to do with it. Yeah. Bring I'm going to bring it by. Yeah. There you go. And you know, we're going to be doing a spot on, there's a local realtor here in Delray who she stages all of her homes yeah. with Restore stuff. Oh, how cool. So you're going to be seeing that yeah. um, with our marketing company where realtors can come yeah. and they can utilize some of these That's to stage nice. homes, to sell homes. So there's a lot of different That's really ways cool. to use a lot of these items yeah. in here because the great thing, what we do is is we really get you know to showroom sure. items. So yeah. the items we're taking and... Um, I think it was mentioned that if we can't take an item, we will find a way yeah. to have somebody else take it. Or That's great. Our, our whole purpose is not to allow things to go to the dump. Yes. Right. We, yes. We, we've got to repurpose it. We've got to reuse it. Thousand percent. So we're big on that. So we'll find a way. Yeah. But the stuff that you're going to see here in the store, it's nice. It's it's really nice. You're not going to see stuff with stains on it. You're not going to yes. see stuff with real, real big rips. It's nice. One thing that I think we need to mention, I don't know if we already did, because I know we were talking about it. A lot of people don't realize that you do have clothes also. So we it's not clothes. just for, there's a lot of focus racks on furniture. And racks of clothes in the back. And there's some great pieces back there. Sarah and I were looking earlier. I mean, there's beautiful things. And like you said, they're like new. Yeah. They're beautiful, great condition. So you can come shopping for your house and yourself. May I mention one other thing of to answer course. your question? Um, about uh, to find out more about Delray Business yes. Partners, we have a whole website. Oh, okay. So DelrayBusinessPartners.com, and you can see Tom the Restore in it. Yeah. And it's detailed about our businesses, but also it has a list of what categories we could still use that, to answer your. That's question. a oh, perfect. Great. That's an easy way to figure out if you can you can join. And as she was saying, if for some reason that yours is full, there might be another leads group that you can join and be able to make these beautiful connections. Um, for you as a person as well as your business. Yeah, I totally agree. A lot of people don't don't know what the Dairy Beast Chamber does, but so much. I mean, it's so so many things going yeah. on. Especially if you're a business here in Boca or Dairy, uh -huh. whatever it may be, is is a is beneficial for you to really join the chamber for things like this. Yes. And go know. to Delray, DelrayBeach.com, mm -hmm. go to the chamber's web, website, and it'll say, and go to one of the categories, and it'll drop down and say leads groups. Mm -hmm. Click that on, and it'll show all the different leads groups, the time, who the chair is, and how to contact them, and the times they meet. 
That's wonderful. Perfect. So for any of you that are looking to network and, and meet other like-minded people, go to the Leads Group and make sure you come here if for anything you need, really, or anything you want to donate. Yeah. Everything. So I, I, I've seen a couple blazers that I like. I'm telling about. you, Jimmo, we're going to be here a while. Behind. <laughs> I know. Yeah. We're sorry. We're being so rude. Yeah, we're like real around around just, we're just real around distracted. The Amanda keeps looking. Like I she's know. Picking I look. Out. I need nightstands. I'm like, are there any nightstands over? I mean, it is. And, and so we apologize for being distracted I by know. the beauty <laughs> in this room. But there are just so many incredible things to look at. And it all goes to a great cause. Well, thank you so much for having us here today. And thank you for all that you do for our community. And and for having such an incredible group that, that supports each other and keeps business here in Delray Beach. Yes. That's, right. I mean, that's amazing. I totally agree. So thank you guys. Thank, thank you. you. So we have one more guest. So Tom's gonna stay with us. So we are gonna have Jarrett, the general manager of this Habitat for Humanity at Delray Beach Restore. Yes. Hi, welcome. What's going on? We love your store. You're gonna have to kick us out. We might never leave. <laughs> Okay, yeah, maybe I do. So, guys, I'm not coming to work. I'm telling you, I'm going to be in here. I mean, it just is such a cool place full of treasures. I keep using that word, but it's the only you know, word to describe I, I seen, it, I think. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I've seen a sign when I pulled up. It was it would say that they'll take cars, too. So, if people want to donate oh. their cars. And, yeah. So, yeah. how does that work? Uh, we have a program called uh, Cars for Home that we partner with, mm -hmm. and they'll come take anything, uh, good, bad, if it's got three wheels on it, whatever. Oh, so it doesn't have to drive? No, nope. and we can recycle it in any form, shape, or way, and any of the money that comes from recycling it or reselling it, whatever the condition mm -hmm. may be, just goes right back into the program for housing that we have here. In the, for the wow. Pavilion. And it doesn't have to be a car. We had somebody donate a 37-foot Winnebago one time. What? We had it out in the parking lot. And but it could be a car, a boat, a motorcycle, an RV piece, and so it's just one more way that we can raise funds that we can build another house. Oh, that is so, so cool! So, I mean, there's a thousand ways that people can get involved with you here, and if you're watching, you have something and some way that you can give back to the community by by coming to Restore and no, bringing totally something or buying something. So. What would you say is something people don't know about the ReStore? Um, just the availability of items we have. We get a lot of estate pieces, very unique items, and they're really a lot of modern pieces come into with a lot of popularity that can be you know used in somebody's household at any mm -hmm. time. And it's a much more affordable rate. You know, mm -hmm. inflation's very high. A lot of yes. things are happening in the world, so we try to be a stable in the community at an affordable price to give back to everybody and try to help. So. And you really do, like the pricing in here is extremely fair. Like I, I am very much a person who likes to, to renovate furniture and things. So I, I look at things all over the place. And every time you come in here, it is a really, I mean, sometimes like, are they, are they sure about this? Like, I feel like I'm like stealing almost. I'm like, this is such a good deal. Are you sure? The one time I asked this, the this person at the register and she was like, you yeah, know, that's the price. I was like, okay. Um, but it's true. Like you really do a great job of making sure that things are priced fairly and people can afford them and they can have these beautiful pieces in their home and they don't have to take out another mortgage to buy a dresser. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if uh, you need to renovate your house or maybe you got a guest coming in or whatever the variation may be, you can really um, upgrade your house at a very, you know, limited capacity for your budget if you need to. You don't have to be so scared about, oh, I got to maybe get that new bed or I got maybe a new family member coming, what are you going to do? We always try to be there and be supportive and help out with bedding, uh, nightstands, furniture, yeah. anything that we can to try to help out. So you, you know the word runs a discount every day of the week. There's something on some Ooh. item or some group mm -hmm. for, for letting it. Wednesday, seniors and veterans get an oh, additional ten percent off besides whatever sale is going on in the store wow. itself. So it's nice. I even I even seen where um well I see now parents are getting ready to send a lot of their kids mm -hmm. to college. So yeah. they're either getting their apartment set up and this is a great Absolutely. Stop. You, know, you know, you're looking at beds, you're looking at things of that nature. Quality. Quality, quality yeah, quality furniture um, to go in an apartment or a dorm room or things of that nature. This could this could definitely be a stop mm -hmm. you know, for that. So has there ever been a piece that's come in here that you were like kind of hoping nobody got because you wanted it to stay? <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, there's always a couple of you know, very <laughs> unique pieces that we come across. It always just kind of blows my mind. 
you know, we give, we come across some state-of-the-art fridges, some sub-zero fridges that are what? over the top. Uh, certainly, we've had a, the Winnebago was one. Definitely wanted to keep that for myself, but uh, <laughs> I would never be able to use or do anything with it. Right, right. We just kept them out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Or you can live, you can live <laughs> right outside. You know, you know, you know the, yeah. <laughs> he'll be the groundskeeper in his Winnebago so there. Ran all back. <laughs> Uh, you know, a couple of very unique items like that. Pieces of furniture sometimes yeah. can be very unique that we like and just see that you would never come across. A lot of things we get imported from France and different areas. Wow. Um, so very unique pieces like that, I like to say. Artwork. Yeah. You know, a lot of our shoppers come in because they support Habitat. Right. Uh, we also have people that come in because they know they can get quality pieces. Yes. And Jared has a great following also. People that are dealers. Uh -huh. They're coming in, they're spotting those diamonds in yeah. the rough, and they're buying them and they're reselling them yeah. for their business, mm -hmm. which is great because yeah. we've gotten our funds to Absolutely. help build the house, right. and if they can take it and, and got a niche market somewhere else right. with it, more power to them. Wow, that's great. incredible. I didn't even think about that either. That's really, that's really special. That is. So is there anything else that you guys wanted to share about the store? Any, uh, I know we, we spoke about the website, but give the website again that they can go to. Do you have the items on the website as well so people can see or should they have to come in? I know. They, they need to come yeah. into the store. It changes so, so they, much. I was so going to say, you'd they, be on uh, that thing, take yeah. a picture, or you would never Tremendous. get off the camera. Be updating yeah. the website every day. You know, this afternoon, Jared's going to have three trucks coming back. Oh, what time, Jared? Because so, <laughs> I'm coming back. <laughs> okay. so, you stand yeah. back, everyone. I'm coming in. <laughs> so by the time you get it, pictures and on yeah. the website it would be it, gone right it happened it happens too fast but. i actually bought a table one time you guys hadn't brought it in yet i was driving down that back road mm -hmm. and i was like what's that like literally pulled <laughs> over like a crazy person my mom was in the car she's like what are you doing i was like look at this table and she was like yes mom i yeah i'm a little crazy and it was it was a great piece that we still have today and you just never know what you're gonna find when those trucks pull up it's like, does it feel like Christmas when you like open the truck and see what treasures come? It be, yeah, it's always something brand new. Yeah. Always, always something new, <laughs> new to life with a new story behind yeah. it that came from some some place in the world. It's always awesome to be a part of. So, okay. so cool. Awesome. Well, I gotta say again, thank you guys very thank much for, so for hosting much. us, and I, I know we really got the information out there. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully now we. A lot of people really, I mean, the secret's out the bag. Now nah, I can say I that. I know. Right. I'm, like, I'm like really excited, but also selfishly kind of sad because I'm like, now everyone's going to get all the good things. Yep, but it, it's incredible. And come yep. and support Restore and, and help and, people. Yeah, give somebody a house. Think about it when yes, you purchase Yes, exactly. You buy a couch, but they're getting a house. Like, I mean, what a powerful thing yep. to be able to do every day. Yep. So, right. Thank you. Thank you so guys. very much. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. Oh, man. I know we gotta stay a while because I gotta I gotta get some shopping done. This is <laughs> Jamal. I'm telling you, this is my kind of thing. I I'm not gonna love stay because like there'd be more things going into the back of my truck. So yeah. I'm not, I'm well, going wait. Oh wait, no, you gotta stay. I need your I need your help with your truck. We gotta load it up. <laughs> no, yeah, that's, not, that's not happening. But um, yeah. So this was this was really cool. Also, just to to rebound a uh, recap. Spirit of Giving. Yes. Um, July 29th. They are looking for volunteers to help set up for yep. their giveaway. To, they have almost all 5,000 kids. It's you incredible. know, from from this this area that's going to get a lot of supplies, get a lot of health screenings. Much needed. Yes. Things. Yes. Over at Village Academy. Mm -hmm. So, um, if you guys can go ahead and, and look at their website to see how you can get involved uh, with the Spirit of Giving, yep. that that'd be really big. And then once again, um, our host and where we are today, you know, here. At, Wonderful. At Habitat for Humanity Restore here in Delray Beach. But shop or donate. Yeah, shop or donate. And you always know, have a Delray day. We love you. Peace. <laughs>